kicking it with the grits. Hey, kicking it with the, kicking it with the, kicking it with the grits. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this morning? First of all, if you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Shay. How you doing? You know, Mama Six over here doing damn things, trying to do what I gotta do to do it, to survive and COVID and stuff. But and if you're not into this channel, what's up? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for coming back, kicking it with me. You know I love y'all. Y'all my horse. But uh, how y'all doing this morning? So this morning is a bittersweet moment morning, y'all. So we are sending our kids back to school. Y'all see how I feel about that after I'm done sending them to school and stuff like that. Today only Deshaun is going. Um, tomorrow the other kids go because they gotta wear uniforms and we never heard about uniforms over here in this world over here. So I gotta go about go to children's place today, find some uniforms for them, but they gonna be able to go to school tomorrow and stuff like that. Crazy. But yeah, um, so that's what we're doing this morning, starting off this morning. Uh get take Deshaun to school. Uh then I gotta take Sammy to the doctor's office today. They got new doctors and everything. We just like really getting settled down in this whole community we in right now. It took us what three going on four months trying to get settled down but we still getting settled down trying to find everything doctors schools all that and it's coming along great you feel me um but yeah that's all i'm gonna be doing today hanging out with me today getting things done today mommy like today the life the <laughs> yeah i be doing it too i be doing the most hold up shay you ain't doing enough oh you me mad that's too bad since you can nag i like doing the most yo People always trying to hide in my vlog. Say, hey. <laughs> All right, so we, let me show y'all this, y'all, because y'all know my my dude be looking cool. He be looking cool. Y'all hear them, my nails. Y'all you know know how it is. You got nails, you got to show them all up. Y'all know how it is. But she, we ran out of the liquid stuff yesterday, so I got to get some open. She can finish them. She's doing a good job, though. But, uh, yeah, let me show y'all this, y'all. Look, look at the nail. Y'all see the nail. <laughs> y'all, they still didn't do a little room tour. I don't know what Keon got going over there with them dang puzzles. But yeah, that's how Deshaun looking today. Look at this flow. I can't with y'all. You excited to be going back to school? Yes, He was ready. He was up. What time you was up this morning? Three o'clock this morning, ready. Cause y'all know, y'all they haven't been to school since the end of March of last year. It's almost hitting a year since these kids been back in school. And they're ready, they're beyond ready and stuff like that. Like I said, I'll tell you how I feel about that later. Thank you, natural light around this piece. But it's time, you feel me, it's time. Just got done dropping Deshaun off from to school. Probably can't see that. Dropping Deshaun off from school. Like I said, bittersweet or whatever, he's excited. Then he got here. So, oh my God, his heart been a new kid in school. I know, he got a good personality and stuff. He'll make friends easily. Or whatever like that but yeah so i wanted to come in here and let y'all know how i feel about them going to school so me and keon had talked about this a while before like it started last year we started talking about this and stuff like that about taking the kids back to school when new year comes stuff like that and of course us us being parents and everything going on we didn't want to we like oh my god this and this they can catch it da -da 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 -da, and stuff like that but if i'm gonna have a heart to heart with y'all right now i'm gonna be completely honest and let y'all know what it is so this kids has been in school haven't been in school since march of last year you know they they finished the school like they finished the school year out or whatever and you know basically everybody just passed because you know everything was going on like i'm gonna let these kids pass go about the business so the new school year came and stuff like that and my kids has have big damn good grades don't get me wrong they sean sammy and keon they good online they uh, they own they they yoke they go online they do their work they do it online do their work and they get good grades keon still with the uh, all a's with one lingering b uh sammy with the honor roll and they shot with honor roll so they still doing good or whatever like that but it's just something deeper like they miss their friends they miss being around people they miss their um teachers and stuff you know just interaction with people they've been around us since for almost a whole year straight we haven't been places we might go to the store there here and there you know go to the places but we still just with us or they um aunties and cousins and stuff like that nobody outside our circle and then we have Kayvon Kayvon is my first grader y'all know he got a little backstory I got I'll probably link the video in and let y'all know of like if y'all want to know what's really going on with him I had a whole video explaining what's going on with him and stuff like that so he's not learning at all 
the online learning is not for everyone. That child has regressed, digress, whatever you want to call it. He has, he has throw that he threw it back because he my child is struggling with reading and comprehension and all that and he has an IEP for all that he has personal classes and stuff and everything for all that at school but online they it's not the same he's he just not an online learner he you know your, your, uh, the regular teacher coming up out the whole day they're going up for an hour in the morning uh, like 30 40 minutes in the afternoon and like before they go to after, out of school like 30 minutes after school that's how you see the teacher other than that they do all this stuff online dream box and all these little activities and stuff online and stuff like that that's not really you know i mean it's fun and interactive i don't know but he just like i saw he found a way to cheat on it so is he really learning no and he just need it's just not for him. He he just need to be in the classroom setting. And like the last straw for me was before Christmas break, and I asked him a question. I like I told him like, oh hell no! Nah. If anybody going to school, Kayvon going to school, cause Kayvon is not learning nothing on this computer. Kayvon is not doing nothing. Kayvon is just going with the um flow, and that's all it is. And I can't just let my I just can't sit back as a parent and let my child just freaking go down, 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 down. I'm not the person to be teaching him. You know, like they say, teaching start at home. Yes, I understand that. But when that teaching start at home, that's teaching them how to, you know, how to um dwell in the real world when they get 18 or older. And then, yeah, with the school stuff, like, the, but that means the teacher has already explained it to them first. And I'm just trying to reiterate what the teacher said. On online jump, the teacher ain't explaining nothing. They do it one time and I'll be off the computer. So that means I got to get the stuff the teacher said. I got to learn it myself. I got to then go try to teach it to somebody. That's not what I. That's not what I do. I can admit when I when I when I can't do something. That's what I can't do. I cannot be a teacher, and I will not sit on this computer, this phone, this internet, this YouTube, and say yes, I could be a teacher and this and this. No, I was like I always say, I love my teachers because they are gifts. They are angels to parents like me that just don't have the patience, just can't. I just can't teach anyone. You know, I can learn stuff. But I can't, I'm not able to teach it to somebody. It's to take a special skill for that. And I admit, I can admit that right now. I have no shame in my game. None at all. So you can try to um, parent bash me, whatever. I don't give a damn. Because I have no shame. I can't teach my um, first grader. I can go over words with him. And I go over, we do sight work. We do this and this and this. But when it comes down to me trying to really teach him how to do this, do that. I, I guess I don't do it the right way because... I just don't do it the right way. Point blank, period. I ain't gonna go into all this detail and stuff like that. But yeah, that's why they really going to school. I see him getting left behind. I feel like they leaving my child behind, like, cause all the other kids is normal, and my kid got this little problem. And but because we're online, they can't really get to that problem because they got to teach everybody. I get it. But my child is left getting left behind. They say no no student left behind. Well, that's a lot because mine's getting left behind. So we gotta get him back on track and. If it takes me taking him back to school during this whole pandemic, it, it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, I also said with Keon, at the end of the day, I am a healthcare provider. You know, I work with COVID patients every day. I go, we have to do COVID missions, meaning we have to be COVID people all day long. We have our PPE and all that stuff like that. And I say, if anything, if I'm going to give it to my family, if we get COVID around here, it's probably going to be for me because I'm around COVID. I'm, I'm the. I'm most exposed to COVID. I'm COVID. Every time I go to work, I'm exposed to COVID. You feel me? And this what else. And it might slip through my PP. Who knows? I don't know. But like I said, we still go to the grocery store. We go places. I I can't just be scared of COVID and start living my life. Like at the end of the day, COVID gonna be here. Y'all see all these new strands coming and this and this and this. COVID gonna be here. COVID is here to stay. You feel me? To live, I get. It hope it's here to stay. So we gotta just learn how to live around it. And that we can't stop living. We gotta keep living regardless. And I'm taking my kids out of school. Point blank period. You feel me? That's how I feel about my kids going back to school. <laughs> the end. Oh. Y'all finally getting in a tree. Like little boys supposed to be. Climbing trees. Look at this one. Don't come in here. You ain't going to the house yet. Y'all good? Look at this. I want to come in the house. Look at what he did. I see you. So I want to see that anybody here, if y'all got what kind, don't mind that trash. If y'all got the right bed, y'all leave it down below if y'all put the right bed. So this is the bed we got. We decided to go with this bed. Do not mind everything else in this room. 
we still trying to get together. But now we finally got a bed. We can actually sleep in. And our room color going to be bling, black, and red. Keon's favorite color is red. Nothing in the house is red. See, his favorite color is red. So, we're going to have red room. And my favorite color is yellow. So, I had like, a yellow little sitting area over here. So, we're trying to make it work. You feel me? So, yeah. I say don't mind all that stuff. But this is the we got. We love it. Even though the kids keep on jumping and trying to take off our um little diamonds and stuff. But when we complete this room, y'all know I got y'all. I'll let y'all see what we're gonna do. But I start school on the 11th, so right now I gotta um right now I gotta start doing my work because they gave us some work to do before we get to class. So I don't want to be behind. So I'm gonna start doing that right now. Basically, right now I'm going to do my med cards because I did not finish all my medicines last semester. So I'm going to do my medicine cards, whatever, if I can get those down packed. I'm going to practice on med calculations, how to calculate med how to calculate medications and stuff like that. If anybody have any tricks, I know I, um, some nurses watch me and stuff like that. Y'all let me know. Do y'all have some tricks, even teachers, whatever, to um, how to, you know, calculate these medicines? Mm -hmm. 